Hey style friend, Liz Cleva from Closet Plate Image here, and it's time to talk about summer style, at least if you live in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, we are coming up on Memorial Day weekend, and Memorial Day weekend is the unofficial start of the summer season here, at least in the US, and it'll flow all the way through June, July, August, right? So that is our summer season, and we are seeing tons and tons of summer style inspiration. So I'm thinking about pulling together my summer capsule. And there's kind of two different ways that I have pulled together capsule in the past. The first is my most common way, which is a very structured process where I think about color, I think about vibe, I think about how I want to feel, I think about what I already own in my wardrobe, I pull together a palette, then I pull together pieces and that all kind of comes together. It works with my lifestyle. It's all got to work. And that way I end up with a very versatile wardrobe that um, plays well. All the pieces play well with others because it's been planned. Another way that you can pull together a capsule, and I have done this before in the past, is to just sort of start wearing clothes on day one and do that for about 30 days and then just take all those clothes that are there and repeat them for the next two, mo two months after that, so three months. And that's more of an organic way to do it. It's much less planned. You just sort of go with the flow and see what you end up with. Now, that can leave you with less outfit options overall because it can leave you with some pieces that don't play well with others and it can also leave you going oh good gracious I totally forgot that I have this event coming up this graduation this party this whatever and so sitting down and actually thinking about it can it's the way I generally do it but sometimes I just feel like oh, it is just more work than I want so I'm just gonna pull it together and then yes if you are lacking something because a party comes up, then you pull that into your wardrobe and add it as well. So I've been thinking about kind of both of those options and which I want to do. I'm feeling this year for my summer inspo that I'm feeling like I want to base it on my French girl summer style grows up blog post that I wrote a couple years ago. I will link that blog post down below and I'll also link, I think I did a video about it. So if I did, I'll link that up here up here up there anyway so it would be based on and I'm gonna let me slide over it would be based on kind of these eight pieces and I'll share them here for you and so that's kind of where I'm thinking about going and I could actually combine the two methods and just post that inspiration up in my closet and then start pulling for 30 days and see what I end up with what do you think? Do you prefer a more planned method? If you're a capsule wardrobe person, do you prefer something more planned? Do you prefer something more relaxed and organic? Do you um, do you do it at all? Do you think that's just like for the birds? Um, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know how you would pull together a summer capsule. And if you, you know, which, which you think I should try this year? Uh, maybe I'll just leave it up to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so stay safe and sound sane and stylish. If you want to learn more about capsule wardrobing or uh, summer style, you can pop on over to the blog and just search. There's a ton of information there. Um, and I will actually leave, uh, I'll leave a link to, at the end of this video, I will leave a link to the, uh, my capsule wardrobe playlist. And so you can check that out too. Uh, it's been good to spend some more time with you today. Thank you for spending some time with me today because your time is precious and any of it you spend with me is a gift. Uh, do yourself a favor, subscribe, and you won't miss next week's video. Bye.